Out of the box, Samsung ePaper EMDX has seven components. ePaper display, USB-C cable, battery, wire brackets and wire holders. Power adapter. Warranty card. And simple user guide. Battery is installed on the back of the display. Open up the cover and install the battery. After installing the battery, close the cover. Plug in the power cable to the indicated USB-C port. ePaper has three buttons on the lower rear side. Press the mode button to move to the next picture. Press and hold the mode button to switch between the auto and manual mode. Press the power button to turn on the product or wake it from sleep mode. Press and hold the power button for two seconds to turn off the product. When the product is off, the screen becomes white. Press and hold the Bluetooth button to enter the Bluetooth pairing mode. To reset the display, press and hold the mode and Bluetooth buttons. ePaper has three color LED indicators at the bottom. Red LED for power, blue LED for Bluetooth, and green LED for control. If no battery is installed, the red LED blinks to indicate wired power. If a battery is installed, the red LED stays on during charging. If the battery is fully charged, the red LED turns off. Blue LED indicates the display is ready for Bluetooth pairing. When Bluetooth pairing is complete, the blue LED will be on for three seconds. Green LED blinking at 0.5 second intervals indicates that the display is waking up. The green LED blinking at 0.25 second and 0.75 second intervals indicates that the display is updating its firmware. The green LED blinking at 0.25 second intervals indicates that the display is switching to manual mode. To update firmware, download, unzip, and copy SRSEDWWC folder to the root directory of a USB flash drive. Plug in the USB flash drive and the display will update automatically. When the display powers up, QR codes will appear. Scan the QR code and click the link. The link will direct users to Samsung ePaper app. Next, download the app. To register an EMDX device, select the plus button or click on Add Device button to scan the QR code shown on the device screen. After scanning the QR code, Bluetooth pairing request will pop up. Press Pair to verify the device connection. Next, select the permission for the device's location. Review and select available Wi-Fi and enter the password. If mobile hotspot is preferred, select the hotspot settings and enable mobile hotspot. Next, click mobile hotspot. Enter hotspot name and password, and then select send password. After Wi-Fi setup, terms and conditions will pop up. Agree the terms and conditions to complete adding device. When registering a device, there are two main installation types, manual setup and Samsung VXT. An optional installation type, presets will populate when a preset has been created previously. The default screen's orientation is set to portrait. Based on the display usage, Select Screen Orientation, Portrait or Landscape. The orientation can be changed under Settings later. Next, select the device's Sleep Mode. Options are Sleep Mode, Deep Sleep Mode, and Sleep Mode Off. 
Refresh time is set to refresh the screen at a specific time to prevent ghosting effect, which may occur when the screen remains unchanged for a long time. ePaper refreshes once every three days. Select player type for the content. Player type can be also selected during content distribution. Set six digit pin code for security. Set the device's name to complete setup. Press the Bluetooth button to pair an additional mobile device. Open up Samsung ePaper app to add an existing device. The app will scan for a nearby device to connect to. Enter the device pin code used for registering the device. Wait for devices screen to refresh. Users can control the ePaper from either mobile device. Create own content using Canvas template. Click Create New, select Canvas, and then choose the orientation. Change background color using the palette. Add an image to the canvas and edit. Crop the image before adding it to the canvas. Added image can be resized to fit the canvas. Add text to the image using the text box. Change the font to fit the style of the content. After finish editing the content, save the content. Go back to editing anytime. Due to its characteristics, an e-paper display may flicker when the content is updated or a refresh is performed. It may take up to 15 seconds for content to update. Upload images from mobile device for posting. Select the image to upload. Selected image can be cropped before posting. Next, click Post and select the device to post to. Before creating a playlist, upload images for the playlist. Click Add Playlist and select images for the playlist. Set interval between the contents. Next, click Post and select the device to post to. The content will update based on set interval. Click Add Schedule and select images for the schedule. Select each content and assign the start time. Next, select the device to push the schedule. Preset allows device settings to be cloned for new devices. From the device menu, click the more option icon. Next, select Preset Settings. Click Add New Preset to create a preset. Next, go to Set Content to assign default content. Next, set Screen Orientation, Screen Refresh, and Player Type. Go to Settings to configure preset settings. Click More Option icon to rename the preset. Press Save to save the preset. Next, go back to Preset menu to check the preset. Scan the QR code and go through the basic setup. Select Settings Presets to apply the preset. Set PIN code to complete the setup. Wait for the device to refresh. Control multiple devices using multiple select.
With multiple selection, users can wake up, sleep, refresh, delete devices, and apply preset. Also push content to selected devices. Add a device and go through the setup. When selecting a content player, select ePaper USB player. Next, finish the rest of the setup process. ePaper can copy pictures from a USB flash drive to its internal storage. Create a Samsung ePaper folder and save picture files in the folder. The optimized resolution for the picture files is 1440 by 2560. Place the folder in the root directory of the USB flash drive. Plug in a USB flash drive with contents to the indicated USB-C port. Click the device with the USB player to change content. Device settings and interval can be customized. Go to the device settings to change the player type to VXT. Select System and click Start Setup. Press OK. Select VXT server from installation type. Sign in to VXT to continue. Click the plus icon from the screen and type in the pairing code. Press Set Content to publish content. Select the content and publish. Click Next to finish the setup. Next, wait for the device to refresh. This concludes the introductory video for Samsung EMDX. We hope it provided the clarity and guidance you need to make the most of its features. Thank you for watching.